Hey guys, this is uh, Ethan from Armory. Um, I wanted to take a, a quick second to show you a little bit of uh, what we're working on lately. Uh, we just started development for a Terraform integration within Spinnaker, uh, which will allow you to execute uh, Terraform uh, as part of your deployment pipelines. Uh, the goal here is make it easier for you to kind of provision infrastructure for applications um, that doesn't isn't necessarily handled by Spinnaker out of the box. So things like you know S3 buckets, databases, uh, things like that for your specific cloud provider. Um, so what I want to show you is a little bit about how kind of we're configuring it today, um, the the kind of different features that we have in mind, and just want to put this out there for you to get some some feedback or give us some feedback on the feature. Um, so we'll start by taking a look at some really simple Terraform code that I've got here and I'm gonna run. Um, so the first thing, I'm gonna use S3 as a, as a remote state store. I'm gonna just use the AWS provider. Um, and then I've got, I'm gonna just create an S3 bucket uh, with this and output the bucket name. So this is, for those of you who are familiar with Terraform, this should be um, pretty simple. Um, what this will essentially do is just create an S3 bucket so we'll provision a bucket with our pipeline. Um, uh, so kind of the next thing to look at is how we're configuring these stages. So what we've done is we've actually added a Terraform stage, uh, which allows you to run some type of action. That action might be a plan or apply. Uh, any, any one of the subcommands um, of Terraform we can run. Uh, so we've also got another property here called uh, dir, which tells us what subdirectory within our Terraform uh, repo we want to run, um, and then the artifacts uh, where these this Terraform code comes from. So one of the uh, the ideas that we have initially is that you might be able to package up your um, Terraform code and then push that into something like S3 or some other kind of HTTP server where Spinnaker can fetch it. Um, in the future, we plan to support things like GitHub uh, repositories and stuff like that, but for now, uh, this will kind of at least show us that, you know, we can actually, uh, we can do this and that it, and it could be useful for your team. Um, so for now, we're just fetching um, a tarball with our Terraform code in it that lives in S3 and then running a plan against that. So this pipeline has a couple more stages. The next thing is like a manual judgment. So for, for, for instance, you might do a plan, decide whether or not to apply that Terraform. The manual judgment will allow you to do that. Uh, and then we have an apply, which is the same type of stage configuration as the plan. We just change the uh, the action that we're running. So if we looked in S3 here, we'd notice that uh, we don't we only have our state bucket. Uh, the bucket that the Terraform's created is not actually there. Um, and let's go ahead and kick this pipeline off so that we can see what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and run it. We'll start it. Um, you'll notice here that. The, uh, the Terraform plan stage is running. What this is going to do is a couple things. The first thing it's going to do is actually initialize the Terraform uh, project, which will download any module dependencies and make sure that everything's kind of set up, make sure it has access to your state store and whatnot. Um, and then once it's done doing that, it will go ahead and run the plan. And the plan will tell us, does is there are there any resources that need to be created uh, that are making maybe changing or if there are no changes at all. Um, so we can actually see the output of that here um, in this source. You know, we'll, we'll notice here that we plan to add one. Uh, one of the features we plan on adding in the future is the ability to see these logs directly in the UI. Um, but we wanted to get this out and, and start showing you guys what it's going to look like. Um, so you know, the plan looked good. We, we know we want to add our bucket. So let's go ahead and approve this manual uh, judgment which will then kick us over into the apply stage. Uh, the apply stage will do exactly the same thing as plan, uh, other than it will actually apply our Terraform code instead of just inform us as to what's changing. So we rely on a, a, a feature called um, auto approve on Terraform apply, which prevents the process from blocking. Um, so this kind of, re this requires newer versions of Terraform. So uh, I think, Terraform 11.10 or one of the latest versions of Terraform is what we uh, what we use to execute this stuff. So you'll notice here that the apply went ahead and uh, and succeeded. We can check out the logs from that stage as well. You'll notice here that the apply was complete and we added one. And if we jump into into AWS, uh, we'll also notice that um, we should have 
our bucket. And our bucket should be here. There it is. So we've got our, our bucket uh, that was created by Terraform. So um, really this, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what the initial development looks like. Uh, feel free to give us any feedback. Um, you can always find us on, on, on Slack or um, go to our website and reach out to us there. So thanks for taking the time to watch. Uh, I look forward to hearing what you guys think.